works. There are a number of countries that are always candidates for MCC, and MCC is regularly reviewing uh, what that group looks like. Um, and uh, that's sort of a constant process of review. Uh, in our process of review, we started looking at Belize to figure out if Belize would be a candidate, and the answer was yes, it was a candidate. Uh, but it had to go through a very rigorous process in order to get to that point. In terms of how we got to where we are, um, MCC um, looks at you know, countries that are in what the World Bank would describe as the low income category as well as the lower middle income category. And once a year, um, we compile a fair amount of information regarding how a country is, how the countries around the world are performing in three broad categories, investing in its own people, uh, economic freedom, and areas of governance. And there's various indicators that are used. These are all external third-party indicators. And with that information, our board typically once a year makes a decision about which countries um, it wishes to select um, for an MCC contract. I think it's important to state that what the board selects is select the countries to be eligible for a contract. It means we can now start working together to come to a contract. It is not yet a contract. So between 2014 and 2021, Belize was in fact considered um, a lower middle income. Oh, sorry. We're not, we're not con oh, I see. Sorry. It was not considered a lower middle income uh, you know, country uh, because the cutoff that we use is GDP per capita, and in fact, the lease has above that threshold, and we were therefore not able to work with the lease for various reasons. Um, it, the lease, you know, has dipped into the lower middle income category, and that created the opportunity for us to work with.